Hi again, so we have reached the exercise of the ninth complement. So it's a midterm uh, question and it comes for three stars. So we need to um, uh, calculate the, non the ninth complement. So the ninth complement of a positive integer a is a positive integer b obtained by subtracting each digit in a from nine. So we need to write a program that asks the user to enter a positive integer and then calculate its ninth complement. So let's uh, take uh, the example. So the users enter 4638. So he needs to uh, find each digit from this number. So we already uh, knew how to do that. So the modulo and the division. And we need to subtract, subtract each digit from 9. So 9 minus 8 is equal to 1. 9 minus 6, 3 is 6. 3 and 5. However, we need to constitute this number. So let's uh, uh, do it uh, small, small uh, and slowly. So we calculate the modulo, so we get 8. We do 9 uh, minus uh, uh, 8, we'll get 1. And in this one, uh, we need to constitute this number. So 1, it's okay. Then we will move to that. So we do over 10, we get the uh, 3. And then we need to uh, do 9 minus 3, so we get 6. However, we need to get 60. So we need to multiply the number by 10. So 3. 6 multiple that will 60 and plus 1 it will be 61 so we need to carry with us the in in, in the iteration yeah, or it means while we are uh, doing the the the, uh, the modulo and the division we need to carry without the power so we have already worked that when we are constituting a number so we multiply by 10 and then by 10 so we get 100 and then by 10 so we get 1000 and we do all this stuff so basically, if you followed all the exercises that we have covered, you will be able to do this in the exam. So let's start. So this was the solution of the uh, sequence. So let's uh, remove it and let's start. So we need uh, an integer n and n should be uh, positive. So we use a do while. Print f, enter n. And we do a scan f. And then we need to loop over the number n. So as long as, so this is this, so we have while here. So as long as the number is not positive, so if it's less than zero, we can place equal to if we want that. So we need to loop over n. So as long as n is different than zero, I know that I should calculate the n over 10. So I will do that at the end. So I will divide it and then I will get n modulo 10, this is the last digit. I will subtract this from 9 and I need to add it to the last number. So I need to have, uh, for example, the result here. And the result would start, of course, from 0. And I will add to result this number. However, I need to multiply it by something, by a, a factor. Let's call it fact, not factorial, but fact. And of course, since the multiplication, it starts from 1. I would multiply it by fact. And fact will get uh, multiplied by 10 for the next digit. So, we repeat. So, n, it will get always divided by 10. So, at the end, it will get equal to 0. So, n will be, n will be equal to 0. Uh, as, as far as we go, so each uh, last digit, so I get it from the modulo. I will subtract this from 9. And I will multiply it either by 1, 10, 100, or 1,000. At, at the first, I will multiply it by 1. The second iteration, I will multiply by 10, and, second, and then by 100, and then by 1,000. And at the end, I will print out the complement. So complement is equal to percentage D, and it will be the result here. So let's check. So we uh, had the number 4638. And we have got the 5361, which is the answer. So uh, this is uh, for the exercise. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to drop me a message. And I will answer you back. And again, thanks for watching.